Hey, pretty girls, it's pretty time. What's up, pretty girls? Love for to subscribe button if you're not. Hey, girl. Hey, as you can tell from this video, I'm about to just, I, I, I'm just, I got some stuff to say, okay? I'm going to just tell you all why I stopped wholesale. Because my DMs been blown down, okay, honey? Y'all blew my DMs down December 31st when I posted that. Y'all, Taylor, why you quitting? Why you stopping? Why you stopping? Why? I'm about to tell y'all why I'm stopping because mm, it just it, it just wasn't it for me, okay? It just wasn't it. Let me bring y'all in because, yeah. It just was not it for me. And I'm not saying it's not it for no other reason than the fact that I just wasn't into it for real the money was good honey i made almost ten thousand dollars in two months okay 10k in two months come on now almost 10k i think it was like around seven eight thousand but that's beside the point so it wasn't the money it wasn't because i wasn't getting orders i was getting orders every day honey so people was in my comments oh you must not be getting orders you must not be getting orders yes i was getting orders honey every single day like i said i i do this okay i does this I do this, I does this, whatever you want to say, I can do I can do it, okay? I know how to make money on social media. That's just that on that. It wasn't because I wasn't getting sales. It wasn't because I wasn't making money. It was just the fact that I was not passionate about it. If y'all know me, if y'all are a original pretty girl from 2019, early 2020, then y'all already know I always said all my videos, ticks, my Instagram pages, I would never wholesale. And I should have stuck to my word about never wholesaling. I only wanted to start doing wholesale because so many people was asking me. And I just was like, you know what? I might as well just wholesale for these girls. Just so people can stop asking me or whatever. But I realized that wasn't my passion. So the first lesson is do not do something just because other people are asking you to do it. Only do it because you're passionate about it. And a lot of you all, a lot of people are starting, starting these businesses just because they want to just do it, just say that they do it and they don't have a passion for it, then they don't put the effort in and they wonder why it's not going nowhere. It's because you don't have no passion. And that's how I was. That's my business was. I did not have a passion for it, y'all. Like, if y'all was on my wholesale page, I posted like once a week, once twice a week. And y'all know that's not me. Y'all know I'm the queen of posting. You go on my regular page, you see I probably posted two or three times in a day, at least two times in some days, one time a day. I, I was on my stories talking. My wholesale page was dead in terms of me. The follows was flowing. The follows was coming. But it was dead because of me. I was barely on it. I was barely. I, don't, I wasn't checking DMs. It's just I was not into it, y'all. And that's just no other reason, no other explanation than the fact that I personally was not into it. Wholesale was just not something that I was into. And I've always said that from the jump. I don't have no dreams or no desires to become a wholesaler. Some people can do wholesale and retail and do good at both. I personally don't think that you really can. I don't. I think one is going to always slack over the other. Whether you're going to be known as wholesale and then your retail going to be slacking. Or you're going to be known into retail and then your wholesale going to be slacking. And I'm saying slacking in terms of you putting in the work. You, We are only one person. We cannot give 100% to two different things. Something is getting 70, something is getting 30, something is getting 80, something is getting 20. And that's how it was for me. Pretty Girl Bangles, Pretty Girl Dot Bangles was getting 80 and then Wholesale was getting 20. And I feel like that was wasting my time and I was wasting my girls' time too. Because some, some people was asking me like, how, when are you going to restock charms? I'm waiting on new charms, I'm waiting on new charms. And I just feel like I was wasting people's time because I was not adding charms. I was taking time in between uploading new stuff. And I just feel like I was wasting my time and the people's time. Um, two, another thing too, we're like trying to do for me and me only. I'm going to talk about me. I personally feel like it wasn't a lot of profit. Y'all know I made almost $10,000. I don't, I, I didn't really know about the profit because it's just like, I had to buy charms for my regular retail page and DN charm page. So I wasn't, I, what I was doing was only buying 100 charms and then giving 20 to wholesale and then 80 to me. You know what I'm saying? And that really wasn't, that really wasn't benefiting nobody. So it's like, in order for me to actually make money, money off this, I would either have to buy double the inventory or hike up the price on the charms. And then there's no point of hiking up the price on the charms for people to buy wholesale when they just can go back from the source for cheap. See what I'm saying? So I just feel like I would rather just tell people to go buy the sources for cheap. This is free game, y'all. 
to find Chinese wholesale vendors, all you have to do on Google is type in wholesale charm vendors in China on Google. Yeah, and I swear, like y'all, I, I I don't know what else to tell y'all. That's how I found all of my charm vendors. Like literally, all you have to do is just type in the type of charm you want to look for. Like nothing designer though. Y'all know I don't know nothing about designer. I don't I don't sell designer no more. I don't use designers. I don't do nothing about designer. I'm talking about just the regular little bubblegum charms. Amazon has a lot of charms too. Little, I mean, people just don't use Amazon, but people, Amazon has a lot of charms and they coming up on their charms. Because when I first started two years ago, Amazon charms was eh. Nowadays, Amazon charms are decent, like pretty good. So on Google, all you have to do is type in charm wholesale manufacturers, charm wholesale businesses in China. All those type of keywords, but make sure you put China, stuff like that. And you're going to find what you're looking for. Like, you're going to find wholesalers. Like, that's how I found all of my Chinese wholesalers, y'all. Like, so I just feel like the information is there for free. The information is there. The information is right there in y'all face. So what's the point of using a wholesaler? And it's just like a with wholesale too. Like, we're like the middleman. So I don't have time to be nobody middleman. I'd rather focus on my own business, y'all. Um, Because it's like I will be buying it from China at a certain price. Changing the price here in America just to sell it to y'all. And then I just feel like it was just a constant cycle. Water break. Hold on. And two, what I was realizing is people was buying wholesale from me to wholesale to other people. Like, it, it, it was just a constant triangle. Like, it was just pointless. It's that to me that that's pointless. Why buy wholesale charms from another wholesaler just to wholesale on your business? Do that make sense? Like, I, I just don't, I don't get it. When you just can go from ch the Chinese vendors to your own business. You, you see what I'm saying? Like, I just don't know. Like, y'all. I just, I, I just honestly, like, in a nutshell, I just was not feeling wholesale in terms of what I had to do. And I personally, in, in my business is growing, y'all. My retail business is booming. Like, every time I go on TikTok, I get about 50, at least 40 to 50 orders. Like, my my business is booming. I'm busy focusing on packing orders. Like, I, feel, I remember one time I was forgetting to even pack wholesale orders because I got two different websites so I was only focusing on my retail website and forgot I had wholesale orders to do it just was too much for me to balance I personally cannot do it some people do do it some people do have retail and wholesale I personally would rather focus on the stuff that I make for me and my customers um, and that's what I want to focus on. I want to focus on my content creation. I feel like my content was slacking because I was too busy trying to figure out content for both. My content was slacking. I rather focus on my own TikTok, focus on my own um, Instagram page instead of trying to focus on and help other people's businesses. I did offer, this is no longer available, but I did offer my vendors list for $50. I had 25 vendors on there for $50. I did that for like the first week in January. Um, it was okay. Only 20 people bought it. But it's just like out of all those people that was complaining in my DMs, only 20 of y'all bought the vendor list. So it's just like, are y'all really complaining to complain or are y'all just complaining because y'all want to? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if y'all complain about me closing my wholesale website and abandoning y'all, that's what somebody told me in my DMs. Like, you are abandoning us. So when I offered the vendors list, you still ain't buy. So are you really serious or no, sis? Are you really serious or no? So it's just like, and then honestly, y'all, don't, don't, don't come for me in the comments because I really don't care. Working with other businesses was terrible. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Working, working with other businesses was terrible. It seemed as if other businesses was worse customers than my retail customers. Like, I, if y'all are quote unquote business owners yourself, why are y'all giving another small business owner a hard time? Like, I've never had so many issues in my life until I started wholesale when it comes to shipping times and waiting and this, this, and this. Like, I just don't get it. Like, my retail customers didn't complain this much than did my wholesale customers and my wholesale customers quote unquote businesses too. So it's like, if you are a small business, like I'm a small business, why are you giving me such a hard time? Hmm? Oh, okay. So that's why I just don't get it. Like, that's why I got the game, y'all. Kudos to people who do do wholesale, but most people that do and thrive in wholesale are only wholesalers. I personally, again, for me and me only, I personally did not want to act on the extra stress of wholesale. I'm not going to lie. 
Like, I'd rather give all my energy to my retail. That's what I started Pretty Girl Bangles for. That's what I'm in Pretty Girl Bangles for. Me and my customers and my retail. I did not have no attention on starting wholesale. I only started wholesale just so people can stop asking me if I wholesaled. And I realized really quick that it was not my passion. I had no desire. I, I, I just, it's not an excuse. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't have excuses. I don't have excuses. Um, I keep it plain Jane. I don't beat around the bush. As y'all already know me, some people like it, some people don't. It was just no other excuse. And I just was not interested in wholesale. I just was not interested. I was not passionate. Um, I didn't even want to. Like I said, this video, I just made this video just so people can stop asking me why. But it's just really no other explanation. People might think it's rude or inconsiderate. But it's just no other reason than I did not have passion for it. Like... I'd rather get a thousand charms from China and use all thousand charms on my business and make it 500 sets opposed to having to split up half of those charms and give it to wholesale. And now I'm, I'm only left with 500 charms opposed to a thousand charms for my retail page. That's just what it is. And then people say, oh, we just order 2,000 charms then. Mm, no. <laughs> no. Because, like for example, like the bling charms that I had on my website. I, I sold those bling charms for so cheap to the point where it was I was not making a profit from them because I personally didn't think that selling one bling charm for a dollar and fifty is 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 reasonable. Like, are you insane? A dollar and fifty for one charm? Are you insane? That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money when you just can go to China yourself. Like, I just feel like nowadays these wholesalers are like price gouging too. Like, and I'm not a price gouger. Like, I'm, I I don't believe in that. So, when I was like the 50 cent bling charms, I was not making no money from that. But I wanted to keep it reasonable because it was just, to me, that that just made sense. Who who wants to pay a dollar? I've seen some people have $2 charms on their website. $5 charms for one charm. $5 for one charm. You must be insane. I've even seen seven dollars for a charm, y'all. Seven dollars for one charm. Like that's craziness to me. Like that's craziness to me. But again, I'm not trying to knock nobody else hustle, but that's just not in me. I just could not see myself making my bling charms two dollars just so I can make a make a profit. Like that's 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 unfair. I'm I'm sorry. To me, that's unfair. That's just me. So I was like, you know what? All right, get in the game. For fifty dollars, I sold the wholesale list for the week, the first week in January, and then I was through with it. Um, some of my other friends, I know Christine Creations, she sell her vendors list. Um, yeah, other than that, that's all, that's all I have to say. Other than that, I was just say go on Google. That's how I found everything that's on that vendors list. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Google charm wholesalers, charm wholesales in China, wholesale charms in China, bling charms. Um, I'm trying to like tell y'all all the things, all the terms that I use to search up stuff. Then also I, I get specific. So I would say like um bear charms, bear charm wholesale, ice cube charm wholesale, um pretty pretty charms wholesale. Uh what else? What other what are, are some other keywords, y'all? Like I'm literally telling y'all this for the free. Like so that way y'all can just stop asking me all together. Um and just use this video. Y'all cannot say I'm trying to gatekeep or nothing because maybe I'm not. I thought what's for me is for me, what's for you is for you. So it's like it it is it's really it's really nothing for me to gatekeep because what's gonna come for me is gonna be for me. And I feel like that's how you keep getting blessed. Kawaii charms, K-A-W-A-I-R. -A -A that is the number one word y'all should be using. Kawaii charms. K-A-W-A-I-I -A -A charms China. Boom. That there it is. Like, after this video, I'm going to refer everybody to this video from now on. So, that's why I stopped wholesale. Because I feel like you can find all this stuff. If you can see, all this stuff for free um, from Google. People are overpricing, overcharging for these little charms. Like, I just I just couldn't do it. I couldn't be a part of the game. I couldn't do it. Um, I would have focused on my retail page. Get that on and pop in. I'm trying to have... I have big money goals this year, okay? I got big money goals this year. And my retail page will take me there. My, my retail page has taken me this far. It will continue to take me this far. So, I want to just make this video one time and for all. Just to explain why I stopped wholesale. Um, what's going on? Where did you make your sales? Was you not? Yes, I was making sales. Yes, I was making money. 
but I still decided to stop wholesale simply because it was not in my heart. It was not a passion of mine at all. And I don't believe in doing nothing that you are not passionate about it or feel forced to do. I was feeling forced to do wholesale. So I personally don't believe in doing nothing that you are forced to do. That's why I stopped it before it even got any bigger because I got to practice what I preach. I tell you all, I tell y'all to not do anything that y'all not passionate about it and then I turn around to something that I wasn't passionate about. So I got to practice what I preach. I cannot be a hypocrite because that's one thing I'm not. So that's why I stopped wholesale. It's no other reason than the fact that I was not passionate about it. Um... Yeah, so I hope this video was helpful. I hope this video was able to help you all figure out what to find charms because I said it multiple times. Kawaii charms, bling charms, whatever. Google, Google, Google. And yeah, I will see y'all in my next video.